now let us prove is it 1 into is it 2 belongs to C star. Okay. We have, we have is it 1 into is it 2 is equal to x1 x2 minus y1 y2 plus i into x1 y2 plus x2 y1. Isn't it? Suppose, suppose we climb this. We climb that. Is it 1 into is it 2 belongs to C star. But we have to prove this. We can use the contradiction method. So, suppose is it 1 into is it 2 is equal to you have to prove, you have to prove is it 1 into is it 2 is not equal to 0 but we are going to prove in using in contradiction with it. So if not, you have to take is it 1 into is it 2 is equal to 0. We have, we have x1, x2 minus y1, y2 is equal to 0 and x1, y2 plus x2, y1 is equal to no. Okay. This is named as 1. This equation named as 2. Now, what we have to do it? We have to do equal multiplying, multiplying. Equation 1 by y2 and multiplying equation 2 by x2 and then subtracting and subtracting we get we get y1 into y2 square plus x2 square is equal to 0. Okay? What does this mean? This means therefore either y1 is equal to 0 or either or y2 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0. Similarly, similarly, the equation 1 by, multiplying equation 1 by x2, similarly, multiplying equation 1 by x2 and 2, equation 2 by y2 we get, we get x1 into y2 square plus x2 square is equal to 0. This is nothing but therefore either x1 is equal to 0 or y2 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, either x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0. Combining these two equations, we get either x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0 or x2 is equal to 0 and y2 is equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, is it 1 is equal to 0 
or is it a 2 is equal to 0 but the this is which is a contradiction to the fact that is it 1 and is it 2 or non-zero complex number but we get is it 1 is 0 and is it or is it 2 is equal to 0. So we get a contradiction thus thus is it 1 and is it 2 belongs to C star. This is also closure property. Closure property is satisfying under multiplication. The next is it can be easily verified that multiplication is associative and commutative. Then 1 plus i0 is the multiplicative identity. What is multiplicative identity? 1 is a multiplicative identity in a real number system. In complex number, 1 plus i0 is the multiplicative identity. Now, we have to find the multiplicative inverse of Z. Multiplicative inverse of Z. Okay. Now, 1 by Z is equal to 1 by X plus IY. Multiply and divide by X minus IY by X minus IY. We get X by X square plus Y square minus i into this is the this 1 by z is the therefore 1 by z belongs to c star is the multiplicative inverse of Inverse of Z. Finally, we have to prove distributive laws. It can be finally, it can be easily verified that distributive laws are also called. Therefore, the system C comma plus comma dot is an abelian group. Okay. Now let us see some important uh, results. What are they? If Z1 is equal to X1 plus I1 and Z2 is equal to X2 plus I2, this is not equal to 0, then we can represent the quotient form of a complex number. What is the quotient form? Z1 by Z2. This is nothing but x1 plus i y1 divided by x2 plus i y2. Multiply and divide by x2 minus i y2. We get z1 by z2. The other remark is, it is important to note that there can be, that, there can be no order structure in a complex number. Therefore, we cannot compare any two complex numbers. Okay. I am rep repeat once again. Uh, a complex number the next uh, remark is it is important to note that there is no order structure in the complex number so that we cannot compare any two complex numbers. Okay. The another remark is a uh, complex number is it is equal to x plus i y can be represented as a ordered pair of real numbers. For example, z is equal to x plus i y can be represented as a ordered pair of real numbers. z is equal to x comma y x comma y. Now, let us do some problems. Verify, verify root 2 minus i minus i into 1 plus root 2 i is equal to 2 of 2 of root 2 minus i root 2 minus i how to find this now solution is 
plus root 2 minus i this is minus i i i square is minus so plus root 2 so we get 2 root 2 and minus 2 i so 2 of root 2 minus i Now I am going to write a uh, few problems. You have to do the homework. Okay. First one is 1 plus i is equal to minus 2 plus 2i. Second one 1 minus i whole power 4 is equal to minus 4. Show that 